dreaming A new horizon And a day And all came true Keller Williams You make dreams come true You're tuned to Russ McClellan and Friends on the Real Estate Show, Home Sweet Home. Let's get back to Russ. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and Friends. And today I got a couple of crazy friends and Jeff Hallman, the founder of Agent 519. How you doing, Jeff? Good morning. And Mr. Luke Grohn, partner at Keller Williams um, and many other men of many talents. Why, thank you, Russ. It's a fabulous day. Yeah. Hey, um, we've been talking... What can we do to inspire people to use real estate as a possible avenue if they're thinking where they're at currently is stuck or frozen or they've been beat up? They got the hangover from the holidays. They spent too much money. They got furloughed without their permission. All these things. It's a depressing time. You know, January can be a great time, but I, I mean, it can be it can be a tough time, too. So how? What I want to do is knock you off center today. If you're listening to this show, if you have somebody that you're thinking about while you're listening to this show, you should have them call us at Keller Williams. It's 888-0038. Give us a call. You can talk to anybody that answers the phone. Here's the thing about Keller Williams. I said it earlier in an earlier segment. We have 70 plus brokers. I'll give you every one of their cell phone numbers to call. And do, do a little background check on Russ McClellan, Luke Groen, Jeff Hallman, anybody else you want to talk to. Now, is everybody making the same amount of money? No. Is everybody having a good time like everybody else? No, we're not robots. You know, this is a business that is unique to the individual. The, there's a lot of agents that make a lot more money than I make that work for us at Keller Williams. And that's exactly the way it should be. That's exactly what inspires me. You know, when you can surround yourself with people that do way, way better financially than you do, you might be doing something right. It's a little different way to look at it, right? But I think 2020 taught us this, that the mold is BS. That what is normal is BS. I believe what is normal may be the abnormal. Like, knock yourself off center a little bit. Grab yourself, shake yourself. You know, it's kind of like yelling at an umpire, shake your head, your eyes are stuck. Remember that? When you're a little eager. It's always somebody in the stands yelling at those poor guys that were volunteer. So so anyway, I just want to talk today. Jeff, you know, what I, I think you're so inspiring at Agent 509 because you don't follow, like you don't really care what other people are doing. You're not a conformist, are you? Um, well, I have a truck with 330,000 miles. <laughs> so, uh, but in a way I use that as a way for me to get past what people initially think who we are. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not trying to wrap a gift here and, and make you impressed from the beginning by what I drive. I don't know if that makes sense, but in a way that's my way of always keeping myself a little grounded. Yeah, well, I, I get it. I drive a $4,000 Toyota Matrix right. called the Blue Ferrari. Yeah. And you, and, you, and you know why I think that's a good point, Jeff, is there's two reasons if, if in 32 years of selling real estate and owning real estate companies that people have given me two limiting beliefs. Number one, I don't have the right clothes to wear. I can't get into real estate because I don't have the right wardrobe. That's number one. Number two, I don't have the right car to drive. Therefore, I can't sell real estate. Those are two limiting beliefs. I wear jeans and a t-shirt and drive a, a old truck like you and, a, and a, an old car that gets amazing gas mileage back and forth from Wenatchee to Chelan. And if I can do it, you can do it. That's kind of the theme of this show. If we can do it, you can do it because we were all somewhere once, right? And we're always where we're at today. Isn't where we're going to be tomorrow. If we want to keep staying in the game, because we always got to evolve. And what I want people to know is like, there are people in our, our company that are two years into the business 
that are making several hundred thousand dollars a year. Now, is that everybody? No, not at all. I mean, that's an, there's some exceptional, crazy good people at this, and they've thrown themselves at it. But I can promise you, if you do the right things in the right order, you can make a good living, and you can help a lot of people doing it. And you, like Jeff said, if any anybody can do this, this is not complicated. And I just want, I'm trying to get that point, I'm driving it home in January here, that you can change your life if you're not happy. You have the power. I mean, look, like we're getting ready to build houses. Mm -hmm. We haven't built any houses yet, have we? Not yet. How long have I been talking about building houses? <laughs> as long as I've known you. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> but you know, sometimes when you lock on like a pit bull under a pork chop, Sometimes you got to bite down first yeah. and then you got to hang on until that dream becomes a reality. And again, like I said earlier, if I achieve my goals, I'm frustrated. I want those goals so big. My goal is to build more houses than anybody's ever built in the history of central Washington. And mainly I want to do that because I want people to be able to live here that grew up here. Mm -hmm. I want to build a product that's high quality and affordable. Is that easy to do? It's not super easy to do because it's not really being done anywhere. That tells you something because there are a lot of they're very smart people in the building industry that have been around a heck of a lot longer. So is that a huge, audacious goal that many people would judge? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, they judge me every day. You can't do that. Never happen. That just to me that fuels me up, right? Um, I know this: that technology at Keller Williams is changing the game. And Gary Keller said it: you can either be a tech-enabled agent. Or you can be an agent that enables tech companies to grow and put you out of business. Like Zillow. Not to name names. <laughs> be like an Uber driver. Do you ever, you, know, you ever wonder about Uber drivers? It's a great way to make a living, except that Uber is telling you that we're going to get driverless cars and put you all out of business, so thanks for making me profit. Right. That's, what we're, that's what paying Zillow is like. If we implement what Gary Keller saw three years ago, command, which is getting better every single day, it can literally save you thousands of dollars. Uh, Jeff, would you say that's fair? Yeah, that was uh, this last quarter, focusing on integrating all our previous bad habits. I, get, I call them bolt-ons. Mm -hmm. um, that cost a lot of money in, in, into the you know th multiple thousands. And we're trying to just get everything back in through a one system uh, program. And so, yeah, I like it. I mean, do I know it, the whole thing? No. Um, but I know there's something there because um, I can sense it. You can see it. You yeah, know? I mean, he spent a billion dollars on it. And if Gary Keller is one thing, he's proven he's a fairly intelligent guy, yep. right? He's been yep. around since 1983 as the largest real estate company on planet Earth. I think we're at about 170,000 agents in like 57 countries. And all that really means to us in, in, in central Washington is that we are following someone that's been kicking in doors at a very high level with a lot of resources that we get to take advantage of. You know, we got a franchise. That's the idea. I hopefully a franchise, if you own it, it's bringing you some value. Absolutely. I don't have a billion dollars <clears throat> to invest in uh, technology. <laughs> Yeah. And I, you know, I, I exactly. And I, and I think command is what Jeff's talking about is a centralized opportunity where bolt on technology to use Jeff's words are something that you can consolidate. So you're not paying individual, you know, lead generation platforms, contact management platforms, you know, marketing platforms. It's now able to do all of this for $25 a month. Um, I, I, let me ask you this, Jeff. I look around at some of the other brokers that are working for companies, especially with franchise fees. And I've actually done the math where just, you know, fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 more just in franchise fees they're paying. That's 6% off the top because ours caps at three grand. And then we cap at 17 grand, meaning the most you pay us is 20 grand in a given year. And then you're going to get all of these things we've been talking about and a whole lot more. And it's confusing to me. It's really confusing to me. But that's also the excitement in me is that I, I look and I'm like, okay, well, I respect a lot of people's business and they're doing very, very, very well. And I, I think there's a lot of great real estate companies out there. But I can tell you this, my goal is every single day to improve and be learning based and learn from Jeff and learn from Luke and, you know, learn from Leslie and learn from Lisa. And, you know, now we have 70 people bringing their life experiences to a collective 
and and I don't know about everybody listening, but I believe that we're always smarter as a collective than we are as individuals. Where do you think, Agent 509, Jeff, to speak of your team, you talked a little bit about growing uh, and expansion. Um, where do you see yourself at the end of 2021 with your team? Where do I see myself? Well, I'm not really going to grow any taller. Um, <laughs> I know that. Um, you know, look, I, I, have some, I have some goals. I want to achieve them. Um, I realize, you know, when, as I expand, there's going to be uh, some risk and learning curve. Does that make sense? So, sure. um, you know, we're, we're going to expand through Keller Williams, use the platform across the nation, but use it locally. I mean, the website that Keller Williams has is awesome. I mean, I went from a region to a 50-state search now. We can move people in and out from all over the country now. I love that. Um, so we, we just see ourselves kind of um, going into different cities within eastern Washington, and we likely will make some mistakes, um, but we'll be honest the whole way through. And those mistakes are just going to happen because we're kind of creating new, you know, we're kind of walking through new territory. But that's how we see it. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. And it's not audacious. It's just what yeah, we're going to do. And even if, you know, it, that's what's good. You know, the pain creates change. You know, red light, green light kind of system and if if you want to talk to jeff about keller williams in general about his team you can go to his website it's agent509.kw.com you can also give jeff a call if you're interested in, in what is going on over there and how that might be able to help you uh, because he's one of the honest hardest working guys i know in keller williams and in general in life um, his number is 509-315-3630 Luke, thanks for stopping by, my partner in crime. Absolutely. We're gonna, it's a pleasure. We're going to build some houses? Absolutely. 2021 is <laughs> going to be a big year. I'm excited for it. <laughs> We're going to keep rolling and growing. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Uh, thank you, Russ. Yeah, I appreciate you. you. Very, uh, very grateful to you both. I'm excited about 2021, and I'm dead serious. Give us a call if you want to change your life. I'll be right back with Michael Maher and Prime Lindy for our fourth and final segment.